The red book, or a guidebook of United States coins, this is the uh, 77th edition, 2024, has always been a, um, a must-have read from every numismatist that I know. But what I like to do with this book, because I do know coins, is not only to to read about the various um, types of collecting, the various types of coins that are there, but also, I mean, there are coins that I have never seen before. And, you know, these oak tree coinages, I know about them, but uh, the images here are, are so clear, and then there are variations that I haven't uh, heard about. And what I like to do with with the Red Book is not only use it for values, but to, to take a look at coins that I might never have heard of. Like, these are early American-related tokens, and sometimes... Uh, with this particular one, the Carolina Elephant Token, people collect coins that have elephants on them. And here is here is one um, uh, from New England. Uh, you know, I, I just think it's important to be able to look at these because sometimes these early American coinages in estate auctions are confused for so-called condor uh, tokens, which are worth... Uh, a lot less, but also minted in England. Um, you, you you can have so many um, ways to use this uh, red book. What what I especially pr uh, appreciate is all the beautiful photos that they have. You can you can see how sharp the photos are. And that is especially uh, important when we get to uh, varieties. Here's an example uh, of that. Reverse of 74, reverse of 75, and, and we're talking about um, cents here, the one cent. Um, these coins often appear in in online auctions. And then when we take a look at more of the silver coinages, what what I like to do, and I have written about this for Coin Update News, is take a, a look at the mintages that we have for each of these very common coins, and and also um, take a look at the um, not only the values that 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 might be missed, but the full bands and other variations that are so important in trying to um, establish, uh, trying to establish uh, value. And, you know, here is uh, the early American dollars, which are rare to find in online auctions. But the gold brush dollar is particularly interesting uh, to me I actually have a Gobresh dollar that um, dates back to uh, uh, 1836, and it was carried by the main phys physician uh, at the Battle of uh, Gettysburg. So I, I love to, to look at uh, Gobresh uh, dollars. Um, and then you also have gold pieces here. This this high relief um, that that's very uh, important if you're going to be a major investor. The the various uh, types of strikes, um, all the way to uh, modern uh, commemoratives. So, what I like to do with um, the Red Book is not just consult it for varieties, but also to just read up on every single coin in there, every token, every variation, and um, 
try to commit it to memory.